Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm continuing my Christmas movie marathon. I'm reviewing another Christmas film. And this one is often considered as a classic, and it's the a film titled A Christmas Story. Yep, that's the one, the one with the little boy, the glasses and all that. So, yeah folks, even though the Christmas season isn't really my thing really, but this is just going to be my way of trying to be joyful, I guess, in some ways, about the season. So yeah, think of this as a way of me just to express some joy in regards of this. So yeah, why not? This became a really popular hit you know, for a lot of people, and a lot of people seem to enjoy this film. So I, I thought, why not? Let's get into it, I guess. So, there's that. Anyway, as usual, I have to talk about this plot, so let's get into it, shall we? So yeah, as you can see, it's about Ralph, Ralphie, to be more exact, and his family. They want to set up a Christmas, of course. This entire film does have a pretty big narration. I mean, in the sense that it's presented in a series of these kinds of scenes with the narration. The narration being provided by the adult Ralphie. Pretty much reminiscing about one specific Christmas. And he was, what, maybe like nine years old or whatever. And the thing is that, at that age, he only wanted one kind of a thing for Christmas. And yeah, it's just a little gun kind of a thing that he really wanted, of course. The thing is that, that specific toy that he wanted is of course rejected by his mother, his teacher, and even Santa Claus at this department store, basically giving him all the same kind of reaction. And we all know what the one line is, you're gonna shoot your eye out, kid. Or whatever like that was. You're gonna shoot out you're gonna shoot your eye eye out. It's basically repeated every now and then throughout the entire movie, of course. So yeah, of course you get to see him going through school of course. And not just that. Yeah, he's going to school of course. And we get to see that even his I guess his parents, they have a little thing going on. Yeah, there's the whole thing with the leg. That's a part of here. It's kind of odd, but okay, whatever. Yeah, that leg thing was kind of strange. What I don't get is that, yeah, this is perfectly fine in a family movie, but I can't show these legs, like, at all. And God forbid if somebody makes a woman character with curves, but that gets controversial. Oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, but, yeah, the film in some ways, you can always bring up the fact that Maybe it's not just about the gifts, and maybe it's not just about Christmas. In a lot of ways, this film is also about childhood memories. A lot of children during this specific time do have fond memories, and they grow up with them. And yes, there's that one scene with the tongue, of course, gets stuck right here, folks, and whatnot. Obviously, yeah, that's a really famous scene as well, and the whole Santa Claus bit I got mentioned earlier. And the, in that store, that's a pretty popular scene as well. There's quite a few memorable lines throughout the entire thing. So, you can always say that the film definitely does its job, of course, obviously. Yeah, there's, there's a whole school bully, sidekick, or what have you, and the little brother, and whatnot, who has outgrown his snow suit, which is so tight that he can barely walk around, and whatnot. So, yeah, there's quite a few scenes in there that a lot of people seem to talk about, of course. And I guess that's that's a good thing. There's lots of memorable scenes. And yes, there's, there's the whole pink bunny suit scene, of course. And, yeah, it, it happens. It happens with good movies and when they're well written, obviously. Sure, yes, a lot of people do remember this movie. A lot of people do watch this yearly. As a, as a way to celebrate Christmas, and I can see why. This was definitely a film that can be enjoyed by many people of all ages. So I would definitely recommend checking this movie out, folks, because it does its job what it's supposed to. So it's often considered 
as a good movie, which, of course, it is. I would say that I myself did enjoy this film. The acting was pretty good. Even though having kids in movies often do annoy me, because kid actors playing their characters are often annoying and badly written, written and whatnot. But there's a few cases where I say the acting from all the kids are, are actually not that bad, really. So, this film definitely does have its charming moments throughout the entire thing. So, if you have not seen this film as of yet, I would say definitely give this a shot, folks. So, yeah, I really did enjoy it myself. So, yeah, this was definitely something that a lot of people enjoyed. So, I'm going to, I'm finally talking about this movie. And, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a treatment to be viewed it's something that's been watched for quite some time. A lot of people really enjoy it. So yeah, if you have not seen it as of yet, I say definitely re I recommend it. And if you already seen it already, I would say watch it again for, just to celebrate the season. Chances are people are gonna watch this anyway. So I do say give this Ooh. a chance, folks. That's sure. Yeah. Ooh. I, I liked it. I can say, see why he would enjoy this film for what it is. I think the film does have some pretty good editing, some good music, some good atmosphere to it, so it definitely works. I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.4 out of 10. I say 7.4 out of 10. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah.